Hello, this is Bob Farrell from the Wichita Falls Art Association, and today we have another conversation with an artist. Today, it's the wow woman. Audra Miller. I say wow woman as you just look at her work, it's full of color, but also she is all over town in all different kinds of community events, and she is a school teacher in elementary. I said a little bit about her. Now, Audra, tell us something about yourself. Well, I grew up in a rural community, and I grew up as an only child for the first six years. I didn't have any siblings, so I lived about eight and a half miles out of town, and I spent a lot of time exploring, and my parents taught me a lot about everything from gardening to raising animals to building cars to woodworking to painting, and I would just, I loved to get into everything, and I guess be a wild woman. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was a compliment, if y'all didn't, didn't realize. Uh, okay, so tell me, what led you to become an artist? Well, um, I think I was an artist throughout my entire life. My dad is an artist, and he rebuilds classic cars. He makes wooden furniture, and he was actually a woodshop teacher. So I was led down the road, and I spent a lot of time in the summers uh, painting and exploring. And I'm actually a self-taught abstract artist, but... Uh, I did spend some time in my young adult life whenever I was, uh, I thought that everything should be perfect in the world, and the world is, is not perfect, and I quickly learned that, but somehow it defeated me, and it brought on a little bit of depression in my life, and so um, I kind of had to find my way out of that, and, um, but, you know, thankfully, God, and then just looking around, and I think artists just they see the world in such a different way. They can see the details and they can see the beauty in pretty much everything. Because you have to just take time for that. And so I think that that is most of what led me there. And color, because I love some color. That probably answers my next question. Where do you get your inspiration? Um, moments that I see or a lot of times I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll think, that's something that I wanted to say. I wasn't ever a very good reader. I struggled in reading, but I learned that through the process of college and everything, that if I had a visual representation, I could memorize anything. So things just come to me visually. And she loves color. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine having her as a teacher when you were in elementary school? You real kids that do are very fortunate. Show us a little bit. This is something I think is really unique. Uh, she draws in here, she paints, and other stuff. I laid down like a, a, a foundation for water, watercolor on this canvas, and then I threw watercolor. I just drew with my eye blind the flower, and then um, I went in and I used a variety of things. And I think that my work is a lot about the process, the what ifs. What if I did this? And whenever I do it, then I see something new. And that's the process of life for me. So I like the imperfections. I like the flaws. And I tell my kids, don't throw the flaws away because that's what makes you special. And that's what makes you you. And social and emotionally, I feel like in our world today, we need to know that those flaws, we shouldn't be upset. We should teach other people to like them. So on my door, I have the word flossom. And it means to embrace your flaws because they are really, truly what make you awesome. Even if when I look at this, I'm like, oh dear, Audra, I still need to remind myself, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right, now, triptych back here, large pieces. She's got a mural over on Marvin Groves Electric Building. I've been fortunate to be able to help her in her classroom and see the joy that she gives to her students. We want to thank you, Audra. We want to thank you for coming. Uh, have a great day. This is Bob Bear of the Wichita Falls Art Association.